Okay, so let's do a little bit of an application where the law of cosines will come into play and perhaps some review. All right, what we're dealing with is a softball diamond, uh, and it's built, it's, the way a softball diamond is is a square. So I don't know if I have a lot of softball or maybe even baseball players, but the fact is that we have a nice, perfect, the diamond's actually a perfect square. It's 60 on this side, 60 on that side, 60 on this side, and 60 on that side. And then right along this diagonal, right, is the pitcher's circle or the pitcher's mount, right? And here's home plate, here's first base, here's second base, and there's third base, right? So there's uh, some of the situations at 60 feet per base path. And what we're asking is that we know that the pitcher's uh, circle, which lies on this straight diagonal from home plate to uh, second base, its distance is known to be... 46 all right from home plate all right and what they want us to do is they want us to basically find the distances the pitcher is from each base so what's this distance from first base what's this distance to third base and then what's this distance from second base to third base all right and it turns out that when we analyze this what we have uh, to begin with is we end up with an SAS um, uh, oblique triangle and then believe it or not to do the next one to get further we're actually going to make use of a right triangle but I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself so here's what's going to happen for the SAS what we have to do is consider this let me change colors here we got to consider that oblique triangle right there when I consider that oblique triangle right so the oblique triangle in blue that we have here's what it looks like when I resketch it so this is 46. We know this piece right there is 60. Here's the piece that we're trying to find. Let me call it X for the moment. And then the thing that we don't know right now is the angle. But let's go back to the geometry, right? The diamond itself is a nice, perfect uh, square, which means that's 90 degrees. And so this bisection that goes through home plate and uh, second base, that diagonal, right, is going perfectly through. It's halfway cutting everything. So that is actually a 45 degree bisection at that location. So I now have a side and an angle and a side. I've got side, angle, side. So to find x, right, x using our law of cosines, well, x squared would be equal to 46 squared plus 60 squared minus 2 times 46 times 60 times the cosine of 45 degrees. And so there is what x squared is. So I'll reach over to my calculator and I'll just put all that stuff in there. Let me, I was experimenting, all right? So uh, punch that in there. So I got 46 squared and then plus 60 squared minus 2 times 46 oops, times, times 46, times 60, and then times the cosine of 45, and what we get is 1812.770568. So taking a square root, again, technically speaking, we have a plus minus, but um, we're not gonna worry about the plus minus here because we're talking about a distance. So taking the square root of that answer, we end up getting 42.5766, right? And I was only asking for a two decimal answer, so our x are, is 42.58 feet. And so that's the distance from first base and third base, all right, uh, for this situation. All right, so there's basically, we've answered this one and we've answered that one. All right, so what about the distance from second base to the pitcher's mount, right? Well, if we take a look at this, let me draw it bigger. We basically have this triangle right there, right? And this side is 60, this side is 60, and that side is a right triangle. So we're basically looking for the hypotenuse. So let me redraw that. So we're basically looking at, here's 60, here's 60, 
that's a right triangle and I know this is 46 and the side we're looking for is X so if we go back right we know that for a right triangle the hypotenuse is whatever my distance is times the square root of 2 so this whole hypotenuse is 60 square roots of 2 so that means that 60 square roots of 2 is whatever my X is plus the known distance of 46 so X is 60 square roots of 2 minus 46. So that one actually doesn't need a law of sines or cosines. It's just using some right triangle situations and it happens to be a special right triangle, 45, 45, 90 degree right triangle. So there's your exact answer. But in terms of a decimal, right, X is roughly 60, in this case square roots of 2 minus 46. Oops forgot to minus minus 46 and there would be my estimate so 38 point uh, in two decimals it looks like 38.85 feet all right so that right particular application did in fact need the law of cosines to start right at least for one of the situations but when we looked at the other we just needed to draw a nice picture see the nice right triangle 45 45 90 degree reference and then just use that all right to get the job done so we actually have an exact answer right and we have a, a nice estimate so that pretty much wraps up the law of cosines uh, perhaps a little bit of an easier rule to use than the law of sines but uh, there we have it and that pretty much wraps up that and if you guys have questions you better ask them on canvas keep showing me your work give me an opportunity to correct you um, you know especially there's so many places where you can go wrong uh, please make sure that you're showing me your exact answers like you know I can see what you have exactly have versus what you have an estimate that way I know it's a calculator problem or an algebra problem uh, be easy for me to, to do that but I can only see that if you show it so make sure you're showing your work if you need help hit me up for an office hour uh, make an appointment whatever it takes to learn the law of cosines and its applications and all its goodness in section 7.3 we're almost done hang in there I'll talk to you guys later